Hola, buenas. Hoy vamos a aprender un poco de español. Today we're going to. We're going to means vamos a. Okay, we're going to means vamos a. So vamos a aprender. Aprender means to learn. Okay, so vamos a aprender un poco de. Un poco de means a little bit. No. A bit of, sorry, a bit of Spanish, okay? Un poquito de, a little bit of Spanish, okay? Un poco de, a bit of Spanish. Un poquito de español, a little bit of Spanish, okay? So, mi nombre es Jean-Pierre. My name is Jean-Pierre. Uh, I live in Andalucía. Yo vivo en Andalucía. Yo vivía. Antes, antes, before, antes, vivía en Valencia. Before, I used to live in Valencia. So, vivía, I used to live. Or you can also say solía vivir, but you can say vivía. Vivía en Valencia. So, before I used to live in Valencia, antes viví en Valencia. Ahora, now, ahora vivo en Andalucía. Uh, viví en Valencia. I've lived in Valencia. Viví en Valencia 12 años o 13 años. Okay? I lived in Valencia 13 years or 12 years, okay? Viví en Valencia 13 años o 12 años. Can't remember. No puedo acordarme. Or I don't remember. No me acuerdo, okay? No me acuerdo means I don't remember. No me acuerdo. Don't remember. No me acuerdo. So you repeat, no me acuerdo. I don't remember. No me acuerdo. I don't remember. Okay. Okay. Another way to say it is no recuerdo. No recuerdo. No me acuerdo or no recuerdo. Okay. Yeah. I would say no me acuerdo. No me acuerdo. I don't remember. Muy bien. Uh, soy profesor de español. I'm a Spanish teacher. So in English, you say, I'm a Spanish teacher with the A, right? The, you say, is that the, like when you say, I'm a doctor, I'm a nurse, I'm a policeman, right? You use the A, uh, A. Uh. But in Spanish, we don't use it. We just say, I'm doctor, I'm, I'm Spanish teacher. So you... In that case, you don't have to translate it literally, but you should, you know, drop the A and just say, I'm, a, for example, I'm Spanish teacher. Soy profesor de español. I'm doctor. Soy doctor. That's how we say in Spanish. Okay. Um, so, para aprender español o in order to learn Spanish, um, necesitamos, we need, necesitamos aprender to learn, aprender conjugaciones, conjugations. So, if, si no sabes, if you don't know uh, lo que significa, what it means, what it means, lo que significa, uh, o lo que eh, conjugación significa what conjugation means I'll explain it to you te lo explico uh, conjugación means this um, if you you know if somebody asks you si alguien te pregunta uh, conjugate uh, to speak Conjuga hablar. So you say, 
I speak, yo hablo, you speak, tú hablas, she speaks, ella habla, we speak, nosotros hablamos, you guys speak, uh, vosotros habláis, they speak, ellos hablan. So that would be conjug con conjugate, conjugating. Okay, that would be conjugation. You conjugate verbs. Um, entonces, uh, vamos a... Oh, as I was saying, como estaba diciendo. As a why, as, as I was saying, como estaba diciendo, uh, necesitamos aprender conjugaciones, vocabulario, vocabulary, expresiones, expressions, y uh, leer, to read, um, hablar, to speak, to listen, escuchar. Okay. Necesitamos hablar. We need to speak. Okay. We need means necesitamos. Necesitamos hablar mucho. A lot. Mucho. Necesitamos. We need. Necesitamos copiar. Copiar means copy. Copiar a los nativos. Copy the native. Native speakers. Okay. Native speakers. Copiar a los Hablantes nativos. Uh, por ejemplo, I'll give an example. Te doy. Te doy means I'll give you an example. Te doy un ejemplo. Te doy un ejemplo. Okay, I'll give you an example. Um, uh, you know, oh, hace, hace frío aquí. If somebody says, oh, hace frío aquí. You know, it's cold here. Hace frío aquí. So you can just copy by saying the same, by repeating the same phrase and agreeing with a person. So you say, yeah, sí, hace frío aquí. Yes, it's cold here. Hace frío aquí. Or if somebody asks you, si alguien te pregunta, asks you, because you means te, okay? Si Alguien, if somebody or if someone, si alguien, te pregunta. Literally means if somebody you ask. That's how we say in Spanish. If somebody you ask. Okay? And that you is te. So, si alguien te pregunta. Um, por ejemplo, te gusta comer. Pizza. Do you like eating pizza? Te gusta, do you like, te gusta comer, eat pizza. Do you like eating pizza or do you like to eat pizza? So you can say, si, sí. if you like, you say, si, sí. and then you just conjugate. Uh, instead of saying, yes, you like, which is, te gusta, you don't copy that part. You conjugate it to the first person, which is yo, which is I. So, si me gusta comer pizza. Yes, I like eating pizza. So, if I if I ask you, te gusta caminar? Do you like walking? Do you like walking? So, you say, yes, I like walking, which is si me gusta caminar. Okay. Sí, me gusta caminar. ¿Hablas español? Do you speak Spanish? ¿Hablas español? Do you speak Spanish? So you say, sí, hablo español. Yes, I speak Spanish. Sí, hablo español. If it's negative, you say, no, no hablo español. No, no hablo español. The negative is just like... Is like saying affirmative, but you just add no at the beginning. So you say no, no hablo español. Now I'm gonna end, I'm gonna uh, clarify some things, some things here. Uh, the first thing is if if you wonder about what about you know about yo tu el 
if why we don't say it and sometimes we say it. Ejemplo, yo hablo español or hablo español, okay? Which means I speak Spanish. But sometimes we don't say yo, we just say hablo español instead of yo hablo español. The reason is because uh, you know, if we want to emphasize, we just say yo hablo español, you know, yo hablo español. But most of the time, we just omit it. We just say hablo español. And there is no need uh, to say it unless you want to specify. And that, you know, is when you talk about the third person. Oh, no, when you talk about, you know, a third person or, you know, she or he, él o ella, o you guys, vosotros o vosotras, well, no, in that case, yeah. No, it would be more about the third person, she and he, and then ellos and ellas, they. Because if you say, oh, habla español, which is the third person, okay, speaks Spanish. She speaks Spanish or he speaks Spanish, speaks Spanish. If you say that, uh, in Spanish, you would say habla español, but then they would, the other person might ask you who you're talking about, you know, who you're talking about. Um, and then you have to say, oh yeah, I'm talking about her. So you say, ella habla español. She speaks Spanish. So to sum up, we use yo, tú, él, ella, Nosotros, vosotros, ellos, which is I, you, she, he, we, you, they. If we want to speci if we want to, to emphasize, okay? And the other reason is if we want to specify, and that is for the third person, like él o ella, okay? To so say, oh, ella habla español. People will understand that you're talking about her. But if you start the conversation by saying habla español, which means she or he speaks Spanish, then the person might, you know, wonder who you're talking about. It could be he or it could be she. And, you know, the person won't know. That's why you specify and you say, yeah, ella habla español or él habla español or mi amigo habla español once uh, is understood who you're talking about then you say habla español and then you don't have to say él all the time which is he or she all the time okay Muy bien. Uh, so necesitas repetir mucho when you need to repeat a lot, necesitas repetir mucho y copiar. Copy a lot. Okay. Muy bien. So, let's practice a little bit. Vamos a practicar un poco. Por ejemplo, ¿te gusta? No, sorry. Um, ¿Hablas español? So, you say, sí. Hablo español. Uh, comes fruta, frutas, comes frutas todos los días. Do you eat fruits every day? Comes frutas todos los días. So you say, sí, como frutas todos los días. Uh, yes, I eat fruits every day. Um, Escribes. Poemas, do you write, means escribes, do you write, escribes, poemas, poems? Sí, escribo, yes, I write, sí, escribo, poemas, yes, I write poems. Okay, so here's the thing, when you're talking about yourself, as in like, you know, I, 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 everything is I, 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 okay? The conjugation, you know, 
for the regulars as well as the regulars uh, always and in O. So, you know, example, hablar, the first person, the, the first, con, you know, when you conjugate, I speak, you say, yo hablo, hablo. So ends in O. If you say, if you conjugate comer in the first person, first person singular means I, okay? It's, I'm talking about I. So you say, yo como. Comer, the first one is como. Yo como, I eat. Yo como, I eat. Uh, vivir, to live. That would be yo vivo, I live. Yo vivo. So in other words, the when you say I and any verb conjugating that, you know, tense, I live, I walk, I eat, I run, I put even irregular ones, uh, always end in O. They always end in O. So much easier. Any, you know, every time you talk about yourself and you say I, 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 you always, you know, your conjugation will end in O, the first one. Yeah. Yo hablo español. I speak Spanish. Yo como pollo. I eat chicken. Yo bebo café. I drink coffee. I live in Spain. Yo vivo in España. I study Spanish. Yo estudio español. I play football. I play soccer. Yo juego al fútbol. Okay, jugar is irregular. You know, jugar is J-U-G-A-R. Jugar. But the first one is J-U-E-G-O. Juego. Okay, that is irregular. But ends in O, all of them. So much easier. Then you can, you know, as long as you know the meaning of the verbs, you can, you know, conjugate. Puedes conjugar. Uh, por ejemplo, uh, yo hablo con mi familia todos los días. I speak with my family every day. Yo hablo con mi familia. Con means with. Con mi familia, with my family, con mi familia. Yo hablo con mis amigos. I speak, speak with my friends, con mis amigos. Yo hablo con mi amigo. I speak with my friend, mi amigo. Yo hablo con mi padre. I speak with my father. Yo hablo con mi madre. I speak with my mother. Yo estudio español todos los días. I study Spanish every day. Okay. Yo leo libros. I read books. Yo leo libros. Por ejemplo, yo leo libros los lunes. I read books on Mondays. Los lunes. On Mondays, yo leo libros el lunes. I read books on Monday. On Monday would be el lunes. On Mondays, los lunes or todos los lunes. Okay. Um, I walk with my friends in the park. Yo camino, I walk, yo camino with my friends, con mis amigos, in the park, en el parque, en el parque. I go, mm, no, no I go, I, I eat paella with my family in the park, 
yo como paella, I eat, yo como paella con mi familia, with my family. Don't forget that with means con. So con mi familia, with my family, en el parque, in the park. Okay. Yo bailo con, no, I, I dance uh, with my mom in the park. Yo bailo con mi madre en el parque. I buy fruits at the supermarket. Yo compro frutas en el supermercado. At the supermarket means en el supermercado. I buy means compro. Fruits is frutas. En el supermercado, in the supermarket. En el supermercado. Now, if you ask me, but you said before, in the park, and that means en el parque. But then you say at the park, but also means en el. Uh, sorry, no. Um, at the supermarket, and that means en el supermercado. So, at and in, in the park, at the supermarket, in the and at the, both, both means en el. Why en? En means in and at. Example, ejemplo. Um, if you want to say, um, I'm at the park. I'm means estoy, estoy, estoy means I'm. When we're talking about location, you know, you, you use estar. So estoy en el parque, at the park, en el parque. But if it's a, I'm in the park, same thing, estoy en el parque. Another example, I eat with my friends at the restaurant. Uh, yo como con mis amigos en el restaurante. Oh, that would be in the restaurant. Yeah. Yo como con mis amigos en el restaurante. In the restaurant. Okay. I eat with my friends in the restaurant. Yo como con mis amigos en el restaurante. I'm at the restaurant. Yo estoy en el restaurante. So whether you say at or in, you just say en. Okay. And uh, we also like, you know, have adverbs of frequency. I don't like grammar that much, but sometimes I have to say it in case you want to look it up on the internet. Okay, so adverbs of frequency means uh, it could be siempre, siempre is always. So I'll just, you know, I'll say three of them. The most important ones is, you know, are siempre, always, uh, a veces, sometimes, and never, nunca. Never, nunca. A veces, sometimes. Siempre, always. Okay? Siempre, always. A veces, sometimes. Never, nunca. I'll just, you know, give you some examples. Uh, nunca camino en el parque. I never walk in the park. Nunca camino en el parque. I never walk in the park. Nunca camino. Nunca hablo español. I never speak Spanish. Nunca hablo español. I never speak Spanish. Nunca como pizza. I never eat pizza. Nunca como pizza. I never eat pizza. Nunca como pizza con mis amigos. I never eat pizza. Pizza with my friends. Nunca como pizza con mis amigos. I never eat pizza with my friends. Nunca como pizza con mis amigos 
en el restaurante. I never eat pizza with my friends in the restaurant. Okay. A veces hablo español en la clase. Sometimes I sometimes speak Spanish in the class. A veces, sometimes, you know, hablo español en la clase. Sometimes I speak Spanish in the class. So remember the older, you know, you can put it, uh, you can say, oh, a veces hablo español or hablo español a veces. If you want to emphasize a veces, you say it first, okay? So, a veces uh, como pizza. Sometimes I eat pizza. A veces como pizza. A veces camino en el parque. Sometimes I walk in the park. A veces camino en el parque. Sometimes I walk in the park. A veces estudio inglés. Sometimes I study English. A veces estudio inglés. Sometimes I study English. Siempre I always cook in the house. Siempre cocino en la casa. I always cook in the house. Siempre cocino en la casa. I always cook in the house. Siempre cocino en la, ca en la casa. So, You keep repeating this over and over and over again. And that is one way to learn. Uh, to repeat over and over and over again means uh, repite una y otra vez. Over and over again. Una y otra vez. Una y otra vez. Una y otra vez. Over and over again. Una y otra vez. Repite, repeat, repite una y otra vez. Repeat over and over again. Repeat over and over again. Repite una y otra vez. Okay, muy bien. So, so I, esto sería, este sería, um, esto sería todo. Esto sería todo means that would be O. Oh. Okay. Esto sería todo. Y haré o voy a hacer, voy a hacer más podcast. Okay. Eh, espero, que, espero que os haya gustado. I hope you like uh, this podcast, este podcast. Y es mi primer podcast. It's my first It's my first means es mi primer podcast. Primer because it's masculine. If it's feminine, it would be primera. So it's my first. Es mi primer podcast. Y uh, poco a poco, little by little, poco a poco, uh, voy a, I'm going to, voy a, voy a, voy a ganar experiencia. Uh, Um, have more experience or tener más experiencia uh, with a podcast con el podcast uh, si tenéis preguntas if you have questions si tenéis if you guys have si tenéis preguntas uh, podéis you, you can podéis podéis you can you guys can podéis um Enviarme un mensaje, send me a message, enviarme, send me, enviarme un mensaje, a message, o uh, escribir en los comentarios, or write in the comments, escribir, write in the comments, en los comentarios, um, on my Facebook page, en mi página de Facebook. Gracias. Hasta luego.